Yo, what's going on boys? I'm gonna be pushing some more ladder today. So as you can see, I dropped like 100 trophies again. So I'll try to get back up to 8,000 trophies. Um, I'm playing 3.0, so it's gonna be relatively harder compared to Bomber Bow. It's okay, I just wanna kinda challenge myself. Um, it's practically impossible to play 3.0 in this meta now because it's completely dead. It's like 10 times worse than last season. But it's okay, I have nothing to do, so here we go. Um, already in my first game facing Rakan. I know he used to be the best lava player, but he kind of quit for like a few months. Um, he just came back, so I can probably beat this. He's playing lava double minions, which means he has arrows, miner, zap, um, minions, and minion horde. I have to be kind of careful because it's easy for him to like ignore um, one lane and just go for like the opposite lane. Um, to be honest, I feel like that's the only way he wins this matchup. If he defends my expo, he's definitely gonna lose. So I'll wait for him to go lava and then I'm gonna go expo. Um, just gonna log on the right side because I don't wanna leak too much. Okay. Um, initially, I was gonna expo opposite when he went lava, but I don't feel safe anymore for some reason. So I'm gonna defend first. Um, the thing about lava is if you don't feel safe, you can always choose to like defend first. Um, it, it's always like a bit harder when they have balloon, but you can always choose to defend. He tried to predict my Tesla because he probably thought I was going to play a Tesla, but I didn't play a Tesla, so that was good. Um, Archer's over here. I need a second set because he also played a Horde since I played a Fireball. Um, he got really impatient there. He actually played a Zap instead of Arrows. I was pretty sure he was back to Arrows there, but he actually played Zap on my Archer, so he got no damage. Well, he got some, but he could have gotten like a lot more if he just played the Arrows on the Archer's. So the thing is, I have to go Expo when he goes Lava, but I can't really go same lane because I just feel like he has more options to kill my Expo if I go same lane. Okay, it goes for Lava, I'm gonna Expo over here. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna have enough for Barbs in the middle. Um, he just played Zap, so he's not gonna be able to like reset my Expo either. I'm gonna Fireball the Barbs. Um, that means I have to be careful on defense since I don't have a Fireball on defense anymore. I'm gonna Arches over here, he might go for like a Horde with this. Okay, never mind plays minions which is better pressure in my opinion because if he went for horde i would have just like played a tesla gotten back to a fireball but since he played a balloon i have to kind of like defensive expo here to activate king um let's see what he does here plays a lava low okay kind of a bad lava on his part if i was him i would just play all the way up high because currently i'd be like desperate for damage 32 25 i have a lot of hp i can spare so i'll try to defend this um the best i can uh oh how do i do this um expo over here to pull the balloon um i'm gonna take a lot of damage because i kind of waited for him to set up for like a nice fireball um but it's okay as long as i don't lose my tower that was a pretty easy first game let's see how much i get from that i'm probably at like top 200 right now all right i got a game facing lapakati for some reason i'm facing all the former pros this guy used to be one of the best mortar players, but then he kind of quit for like a year because he choked the CRL final. Um, then he kind of became like a gym rat. He used to occasionally um, show his gains on Twitter. Anyways, gonna ask on the right side here because I need to find out what um, variant he's running. He's obviously running mortar because he played Skelly King and Miner. Um, he could have like Cannon Cart, which is bad because they also have arrows. Okay, never mind. Um, he's playing Musketeer, so this matchup's way better than that. He's playing bats, poison, and a bunch of stuff. I feel like this matchup is even. I'm not really sure, but it feels like an even matchup. That was a nasty ice spirit. It hit all the bats and froze the Skelly King. <laughs> I'm not really sure how I managed to do it, but I need to go back in the replay and watch it. Might have been just like a lucky ice spirit. Anyway, it's gonna log on the right side to finish off the Skellies. Um, he is up like three elixir, so he's probably gonna minor. There he goes. Okay, I'm not gonna reactively play my skellies. I'm actually gonna like wait for the miner and play the skellies on top of the miner because I don't want to take any more damage. Um, even if I predicted the miner, the miner would have gotten like three hits on my tower, so it doesn't matter. I'd rather just like wait for it to lock on and then like play skellies on top of the miner to finish it off. Um, anyways, once that mortar dies, I'm gonna ice spirit on the left to force out like bats or something. So. Um, he also gets tempted to play like a Skelly King or something. I don't know. Let's see. You're gonna Knight in the back. He's not playing the Skelly King. Okay, there he goes. Skelly King in the back. I kind of want to Axe Ball opposite lane here because his only option is like Skarmy and uh, Musket here. Um, yeah, he does go for it. He kind of split the Skarmy. I thought he was gonna play the Skarmy in the same lane, but he split it. So he's gonna be taking a lot of damage here. 
I'm kind of waiting for the bats here on the expo. Um, there he goes. The ice spirit's actually, um, unfortunately, not going to jump on the bats because I played it too late. If I played it a bit sooner, it would have locked on because um, three of the bats actually got to my ice spirit. I'm just going to scale these over here to distract and then um, knight for the musketeer just in case he wants to go for it. Okay, really good minor poison. I can't really defend the expo, so I'm going to log over here to predict the skarmy. Okay, um, that was really bad because now we can log now archers and then you can go for like a skarmy opposite lane and activate ability. Um, he also hit my eye spirit with that ability or that, um, what do you call it, log. I'm going to fireball over here straight up because I don't want him to activate there. Plays a mortar. Um, I was gonna defensive expo, but he actually played the mortar faster, so I'm not going to. Gonna knight over here. That was a really good catch. I kind of figured it was in the front of my tower because <laughs> there's no way he played the minor on my archer when he wants to get damage on my tower. Gonna fireball over here to kind of time it so the musketeer also gets hit. Nice. Um, that was actually really hard to time because I thought I missed, but I didn't. Um, he's probably gonna bat, so I'm gonna ice spirit over here. Pretty good ice spirit. Hit like three bats, so I'll definitely take that. Gonna log over here to finish off that skelly king. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, he actually didn't die, so I have the archers over here. Not a big deal though. I'm not gonna take any damage. I just had to spend like three um, extra elixir. Because I mean, I was gonna go opposite lane anyways, but he just kind of like delayed my push, I guess. Um, okay, he's definitely gonna skelly king now. Okay, I'm gonna fireball log the skelly king. And the musketeer this should get some damage never mind he goes minor bats so it's definitely not gonna get any damage maybe the next expo i'm kind of having a hard time getting a lock i might have to like fireball cycle if i don't get a lock but that's for later um okay pretty good minor poison i'm once again not gonna be able to do anything when he does that so i'm gonna ice spirit over here to kind of like make the ice spirit jump um so i don't take any damage from that minor I've even damage on both of my towers because he got no minor damage so far. He just has like poison log. Um, so anyways, gonna ice spirit over here to not take any damage on my Tesla. He also goes for a musketeer, so I'm gonna fireball it. Um, that was the first minor damage he got on my tower. Anyways, gonna axe ball on the left here. Wait, no, I remember him getting some damage um, early on on my left side tower because I reactively played my skellies. That means he got same amount of damage on the right side as well. Uh, I must have been confused. Anyways, I have to kind of like fireball cycle this, but I have to fireball here on defense though. I'm going to log over here. Hopefully that Skelly King dies. Um, going to Ice Spirit over here. Uh-oh, this is not good. Did I lose? Um, Archers over here, and uh, I need my Ice Spirit back so I can kind of like catch it. Come on. Okay, that was really good. I, I can fireball. Poison's not going to do enough damage in time. Um, went a bit quiet there, my bad, but I had to kind of focus because I almost choked. But yeah, pretty easy win once again. Well, that was kind of hard, not going to lie, but let's see how much I get from that. 21, I'll take it. Alright, I got a game. Facing Phil the Star. This is Wero's mini account. If you guys don't know who Wero is, he has like 7 top 1 finishes. He's the best bridge band player to ever exist, so definitely not going to be an easy opponent. Anyways, gonna knight on defense for that bandit. I know he's playing E Barb's Queen with like Heal Spirit, um, Barbarrel Ghost. So it should be winnable. Actually, this is my matchup by a little bit. Um, so yeah. I got a lock, but the thing is the defense is gonna be kinda annoying. I have to let that queen die first, which means I have to let that ghost go invis, and then the tower should lock on that queen. Um, okay, nice, perfect. Gonna skellies over here to kind of DPS down that ghost. Whoa, he has a zap. I guess he put it in for Burp Barrel, but yeah, I didn't know he had a zap. I'm just happy he didn't play it earlier because um, if he saved his queen, I would have had to like play a knight on that queen. That would have been annoying, but it's going to arches in the back. I don't understand this guy because every time he pushes, um, he starts with like five days left. And then he just kind of like skyrockets up to top 10. And then the next day he goes to like top one. Like he's so good. Don't really understand how you can be that good with a deck, but yeah, that was a really bad expo on my part. I thought I could punish it, but um, I actually could not punish the bandit. Also played really bad skellies because I thought he was going to like prediction zap. So I kind of panicked on the skellies placement and played it on top of the bandit, but yeah. Oh my god, I took so much damage. Um, he knows I'm low on elixir, so he's just kind of like spamming right now, but thankfully I have a knight back. Um, but yeah, this is not good. Even though I have like a really good matchup here, this game might be over already because I'm not going to be able to get the damage back really easily. 
on top of that he has a reset so even if i get a lock he can just always go for like a ram in the middle and like zap or something so yeah that's totally my fault though i was not playing optimal there for like a good minute but i don't know i'll try to get the sequence back again um the one that i got in the beginning to get a lock um try to get like the e-burbs out of cycle so i can kind of get a lock i don't know skelly's over here um really good zap on his part to kind of like stun my tesla for a little um so the bandit kind of like locked on it and finished it off um archer's in the back tesla on defense he's not letting me get one damage like not even one damage um, I'm actually not going to fireball that. I'm just going to wait till I have second set of archers, I guess. Because <laughs> I don't really want to fireball that. going to archers over here. Okay, this could be a really good expo. Hold on. Um, might get some damage here. I hope I do. Nice. Okay, I did get a lot of damage here. Um, he might zap, though. Yeah, he does go for a zap. Skelly's over here. Kind of want to fireball that, but I don't at the same time. Because um, magic archer is really annoying. So need to kind of save my zap for that beautiful heal spirit on his part he's gonna be able to get back to a second ability but i'm gonna archers on defense for that ghost also gonna play a tesla because i feel like i need it um fireball on the marcher don't want to let it live for too long because it gets too much value also gonna skellies over here okay um i knew he was gonna like prediction zap so i kind of played it in front of my tower um i'm gonna defensive expo here because i feel like he's gonna prediction queen okay never mind kind of played the queen in the middle not really a prediction queen but i don't know it got the job done i, I just wanted to kill the queen so there's that. I'm gonna knight over here to block the queen, and uh, I think I'm gonna go in here. I kind of want to go in sometime soon. So yeah, right about now, I'm actually gonna pressure, because uh, I have a really good push. I'm gonna high spirit over here. I know he doesn't have a bird barrel, so I can just kind of like play my stuff um, next to my expo. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna log over here to finish off that queen, hopefully, please. Nice, okay, the queen died. Um, He's back to bandit, is he not? Yeah, he's back to bandit, so I'm not gonna get any damage from this, but I'll try to go in again gonna knight over here and then expo he might go for like e-barbs um which i hope he doesn't because it's gonna be so hard to dps them down gonna arch his high um okay it goes for queen actually gonna ice spirit on the log to kind of like sorry i have to cut the audio on that part i had to clear my throat i don't want to jump scare you guys anyways um what was i talking about oh yeah the queen i had to play the log and the ice spirit on the queen to get some damage from the expo but the expo actually ended up locking on the burp so i got no damage it's okay though, I'll try to get that sequence back, because that was a really good sequence. Even though I didn't get any damage. I'm going to log over here, I'm um, also going to knight on defense. Okay, I'm back to a second expo, just one card off. So I'm going to arches on defense and just expo over here. I need to get a lot of damage. Um, I can't spell cycle from this point, I definitely have to get a lock. Um, or maybe I can, but I just need to like keep spamming everything I have. So I'm going to arches over here, um, please e-barbs. I'm going to fireball the e-barbs. I think I missed one. Yeah, I missed one because the other e-barb kind of pushed it away, but it's okay um archers see what he does here oh he zapped on defense wait that means um okay there my maxima locked on anyways but i was gonna say that means i can go for a fireball log and i think i'll be up damaged by a little but yeah i got really lucky there and that was super undeserved but i'll take it all right i got a game facing patron 13 i'm pretty sure this guy's playing mortar if i remember correctly i faced him yesterday he had like an off meta mortar deck um, he was playing archers, triple spell, he had like fireball log arrows, and he also had cannon card. I'm not really sure how I managed to beat it, but I beat it by 2 HP. I'll try again, shouldn't be that bad. Um, Skelly's on the left to kind of like keep my archer alive. Um, I usually hate facing mortar, but nowadays it's a good sign because it means you're not facing a golden knight, so you always have a way to win this. Don't get me wrong though, it's like an 80-20 matchup, but it's winnable. Um, anyways, he might go for like a mortar opposite lane, so I'm going to get ready for that. Um, he knows I'm playing Expo, so he actually went for Mortar on defense. Not bad. That's a really good Mortar, because now I can't go in. I was hoping to go in on the right side, but it's okay. Um, once I'm at 10, I'm going to log on the left over here to cycle. Um, which means I'm back to Ice Spirit. I'm also going to Ice Spirit once that Mortar dies. It's always nice to get some Ice Spirit damage, because I'm pretty sure it does like twice as more damage than Log. Nice, that was a really good Ice Spirit. I'm going to Knight the back. Um, he might go minor on the left. I have skellies ready for that, so I think I'm fine. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, he does go for the minor. Whoa, he has bats? Um, okay, last time I faced him, he didn't have bats. So I guess he took out the arrows, because I know he already cycled that log. Um, okay, kind of let my knight lock on that cannon card, so I'm going to log over here. Come on, one more hit. Nice, okay. Um, kind of unfortunate, though, because I know I'm not going to have enough for knight before he goes for archer, so I have to kind of like ice spirit and then um, skellies to distract them. 
it's okay though i got a few damage um i'll definitely take that for now but i guess you can kind of see how clutch that one elixir is like if you're up one elixir you can like change games um not really sure if that made sense but if i had enough for a night there i definitely would have won the game by now he would have given up but it's okay i'll try to get the sequence back again um double elixir okay plays a mortar so i can't really go in um my throat's a bit itchy be right back Okay, I'll make sure to cut the audio on that part when I'm editing because I had to clear my throat. But anyway, it's going to night over here. i um, also going to log for the guards and the cannon cart. He plays a minor and bats. It looks like I'm not getting any damage, but it's okay. I'll just let this expo die. Play another one to get some damage sometime soon. Um, plays archers. I have to night on defense. Kind of a bad placement because one of the archers actually locked on my tower. Uh, it's okay. I can afford to take that hit for now. But anyway, it's going to lock the cycle. Um, I don't really feel safe going in expo on the right side, so I'm going to try to predict the mortar. Um, okay, since I failed, I have to kind of like defensive expo because I'm down a lot. Um, I just kind of fed that um, cannon card, so I'm down like four elixir. Goes for minor bats. I can't really defend that minor right now. I have to focus on the cannon card and the mortar. Um, but yeah, I took a lot of damage. He managed to get all of his damage back, so I have to kind of like get some damage again. Um, pretty sure he's back to cannon card, so I have to kind of watch out gonna knight over here to block it um got the ice spirit chip so not bad i guess but he is back to cannon card so i'm gonna log over here um this should kind of like push it back and chip it down a bit okay um he just has to play archers actually not even archers he can just log to kill my expo but yeah it's kind of hard for me to get damaged but it's like really easy for him to get damaged compared to me because he can just go for like a minor fireball um once he has a defensive mortar on the field because i can't really get a lock um, since he has a cannon cart log and he also has archers for some quick dps so gonna archers over here to block the cannon cart though because i know he's gonna do it since he thinks i'm not back tonight um but i'm actually back tonight Let's see what he does here probably gonna archers okay he does go for archers um i'm gonna fireball over here to get some damage hopefully nice okay really quick fireball on my part if i didn't play the skellies i definitely would have been able to like fireball faster but it's okay Anyways, goes for minor bats. He's probably going to fireball. Yeah, he does go for a fireball, but um, he missed my ice spirit, so that was really good. Going to fireball on offense because, once again, he played a fireball on my tower, so I can just go for, like, a naked fireball. Anyways, going to axe spawn on the right side. He cycled a cannon car on the left, so that was a really good axe spawn on my part. I'm going to knight over here to block it because my axe ball locked on that cannon card, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. But um, I have to be careful about, like, a second mortar on the left here, though. If he gets back to like a second offensive mortar, which I think he will. Yeah, he does. Um, I spirit over here. Gonna fireball that. Also gonna um, scale is in the middle. Hopefully I don't get drop glitch. Okay. Um, minor locked on my tower. He's gonna fireball. Uh oh, did I choke? Um, fireball. Wait, I have to catch a miner. Sorry, I went a bit quiet there. I have to focus. Um, I spirit over here to catch it. Please. Nice. Okay gonna knight over here hopefully that doesn't knock it off okay oh my god so close um i previously beat him by 2 hp and now i beat him by how much is that 15 not bad <laughs> but yeah that's a really bad matchup i'm just happy to beat that 34 i'll definitely take that all right i'm one game off 8,000. so if i win this i'm definitely gonna be on there i'll try my best anyways facing samuel basoto um i'm gonna be honest i don't like this guy he has a massive ego if you're on Twitter, you probably know what I'm talking about. He's always beefing with Bag and Lucas X Gamer. Um, you need to get a Twitter if you don't have a Twitter yet. Like Clash Royale players are beefing over like tiniest things ever. It's actually so funny. But anyway, it's gonna act spawn the right side because I'm not really sure what deck he's playing. So I know I'm not gonna get any damage with this, but I just want to find out what deck he's playing. Plays a minor. Okay, cool. Might have like a cannon cart. Okay, never mind. He played a mortar, so I'm gonna ice spirit over here to kind of distract it. Also gonna knight to block the musketeer if he has one um looks like he has a queen um doesn't matter though that was a good night anyways get it because good night because he lost the game good night okay i'm gonna stop that's kind of cringe but yeah he's barely at like two elixir right now so he's not gonna be able to mitigate the damage also i'm gonna expo at six because um by the time i expo he's barely gonna have like three or maybe like four elixirs so i feel like i already won the game um please a valk i'm gonna scale these over here and then log to dps it down didn't really expect him to have a Valk, but it's okay. Should only get one hit. He's back to Miner. Miner's in the front. That's pretty obvious because he's trying to kill Max, but really fast. So he kind of played it in the front. Um, gonna play Arches on defense. I'm gonna BM back. 
I'm just gonna kind of copy his BM. It's kind of funny. But, yeah, I'm definitely gonna end the video after this. Also, I haven't really found an expo deck that works in this meta. So, let me know down in the comments if you did. Because I don't know what I'm gonna do next video. Probably gonna play 3.0, but I can't really get into the top 100. I mean, I'm not really sure if this is top 100 either. 8k should be top 100, though. But, yeah, once again, I'm not really sure. So, anyway, it's gonna expo on defense. Um... Just to kind of buckle up for defense now. Okay, what? He has a rocket. Good thing I got so much damage because this matchup is like impossible. I didn't know he had a rocket and a queen. Gonna log on the right side to cycle. Also gonna ice spirit. Plays a queen in the back. I'll get back to an expo over here because I know he's not back to rocket. He's like two cards off. One card off now and he's back to it now. Um, Let's see. Okay, plays a rocket. Not bad. <coughs> Sorry gonna log over here on defense also gonna archers kind of hit that um prediction log on my ice spirit but it's okay i'm back to a second night so i can just play it on defense um but yeah once again that was a really good prediction log anyways um i'm gonna expo on defense here he's back to rock yeah i think i'm not really sure i wasn't counting cycle okay yeah he is um i'm gonna archers on defense also gonna log on the right side it goes for a mortar um, I spirit high to kind of distract it for like a second longer so my archers kind of stay alive. Um, this might lock on my tower if that chains. Okay, never mind. If that chain on the two skellies on the right side, it definitely would have locked on my tower. But since it didn't, I'm kind of lucky. Um, he wouldn't have won the game off of that though. Like pretty sure he would have gotten like a thousand damage at max, but not really won the game. Like two or three mortar hits at max. But yeah, just going to get back to a defensive expo and spam it. You already know how it is because i just want to kind of like keep baiting out the rocket on my expo it's better than him going rocket on my tower because um i don't want him to like rocket cycle me i can finish off the game with like two fireballs no actually three fireballs and one log i think but i just don't want to um kind of like be impatient i want to play it safe for now because i have plenty of time to um finish him off i just need to not take any damage Okay, I'm going to cut the audio there for a bit because I had to clear my throat once again. But that was a really fast rocket. Almost like he was hovering it, like he was ready for max. But, but anyway, it's going to fireball on that queen. Also going to knight on defense. That should make the minor reset. Um, just going to keep playing my trip cards up high so that mortar doesn't lock on my knight. Because if it did, it would have splashed onto my tower. Not that he would have won the game off of that, but I just don't want to take any unnecessary chip. Um, just going to fireball him now because it's triple. He can't punish me for it. Um, so that's like what one fireball log so yeah, once again, don't forget to like and sub I'm super close to 45k. I love you guys so much. I'm growing so fast But yeah, I'm gonna take my sweet time BMing this guy. I'm not gonna finish him off Kind of running out of things to talk about So yeah, once again, just comment down some expo decks below like not like off meta expo decks I'm talking like meta expo decks um, The ones that I can actually play on top ladder um, so I kind of get have like the idea of what I'm gonna play next video because I'm kind of lost at this moment Like I just don't know what to play. I'm probably not gonna be in the top 100. So I just kind of want to like mess around um, So yeah, that's about it seven seconds and The game is just about over Um, by the way, I'm gonna get a lot from this one probably like 35 because I know he's a bit higher than me I'm one game off 8,000. So probably like 35 That's my guess I'm gonna say 35 34 okay not bad let me check where that puts me though um should put me in the top 100 hopefully please i'll be sad if not 117 okay you know what not bad don't forget to like and sub hope you enjoy the video and peace love you guys